brother! Jay, I had plenty of takeaways from Moana. Never steal an island's heart, never sail beyond the reef, and most importantly, definitely always save sea turtles. Wait, your takeaway was don't sail beyond the reef? Yes, obviously. After I thought they were certainly gonna kill Pua, I turned the movie off. Why? What did I miss? Just kidding, this movie is my new Frozen and I can't and won't let it go. Who knows how far I'll go. Pro tip, if you want to write a hit Disney single, make sure you end the chorus with the word go. But back to sea turtles. Is this what we're supposed to believe is that the rescue of this little sea turtle is why the ocean chose Moana? Well, yes, to an extent, but I don't think it's just that Moana lucked herself into a situation where she was able to prove her worth to the ocean. My theory is that the ocean presented Moana with a choice or a test, if you will. Basically, save this baby sea turtle or go and collect a really cool shell. And let's be real, it's a really cool shell. It's like the child psychology experiment with marshmallows. Basically, give a child a marshmallow and say, you can eat this now, but if you wait until I come back, you can have another. It's supposed to determine the difference between immediate reward and delayed gratification. Also, who would hold up under torture? Point is, Marshmallows are great. But Tiny Moana finds a very clever way to rescue the little turtle, and the moment it enters the water, you can just see this like ripple race across the surface as the ocean almost comes to life. This is the moment we can safely assume that the ocean has decided to choose Moana. And that's it! Whole video! Basically, save a turtle and get to control 71% of the Earth's surface. Or at least be friends with it. That makes sense. Except, is this the moment Moana is actually chosen? Or did she just pass the first test? And is it possible that somebody was chosen before her? Even more possible that many people have been chosen before her. Here's where things get fun. Yes, I'm going to say that Moana saving the turtle was passing the first test, but she still had some proving left to do. Obviously we see for the rest of her life, Moana just continues to be drawn to the ocean until one day she finally just goes for it. This is going to be the next trial. Moana takes the adorable underused piglet Pua with her out to sea. Seriously, why couldn't Pua have come on the trip with her instead of Hey Hey? Should we maybe just cook him? And she finds out very quickly that she has vastly underestimated the ocean. It immediately crashes her boat, traps her underwater, and nearly kills Pua. I mean, can you imagine spending your entire life wanting to do something and the day you finally go for it, that something nearly kills you? But what happens next is what makes me think this has happened before, and not just on this island, but even in this family. The grandmother steps into the scene, immediately walks over to Moana, and all too casually checks out her ankle. Which is contrary to how my grandmother would have reacted if I just, you know, almost died. Or even gotten a paper cut for that matter. The point is, she is not nearly alarmed enough, almost like she was actually expecting this to happen. I believe it's because she knew that eventually Moana was going to have to enter into this trial. And I'll come back to that in just a second. At this point, Moana almost throws in the towel. She decides in that moment, I'm going to go place my stone on top of the mountain. And I say almost because she most definitely did not almost do that. Why aren't you trying to talk me out of it? She's basically doing that thing where you say something negative about yourself in hopes that somebody will assure you that it's not true. My hair just looks so awful today. Which is a little low, but Moana is pretty great, so we'll give her a pass on that. Plus, her grandmother doesn't fall for it anyway. Okay. Gosh, how great was the grandmother? But it leads to this exchange. Is there something you want to tell me? Is there something you want to hear? That moment is when she truly becomes the chosen one, but not the first chosen one. I think that maybe the ocean has been choosing voyagers to attempt to return the heart for generations. I mean, look how quickly Tafiti turned into Teka. I mean, it's basically instantly. Do you, you really think it took a thousand years before they started trying to fix the problem? I doubt it. And besides that, where is this legend that Moana's grandmother is telling coming from anyway? I'm assuming from generations of people who were chosen and everyone failing. It may be a little bit subtle, but there are several hints that suggest that Moana's father before her was also chosen to return the heart. Both the grandmother and her mother make mention of how Moana basically is her father. You are your father's daughter. Because he was you. Plus, watch how he reacts to being shown the heart. This, this is just a rock. 
go! He doesn't even examine it. And I think that's because he has seen it before and he too was tempted by it. Basically he, like Moana, was always drawn to the ocean and that eventually leads to him having almost the same experience as Moana when he tried to venture beyond the reef. Except instead of his pig surviving the trial, his best friend dies. But that brings me back to this idea of a trial. The reason I am convinced that that opening scene is not just the random helping of a turtle, but actually a test, is because of this recurring symbol that we see all throughout this scene. And that symbol is the spiral of the heart of Tafiti. First of all, the item she is being tempted with is a conch shell, which is literally nature's spiral. The ripple when the turtle enters the water is clearly a sign of the ocean reacting. And on the shell of the turtle, there is actually the symbol of the heart of Tafiti. And look what appears underneath each of the conchs as the water opens up to let Moana enter more spirals. But so what? These could all just be like little Easter eggs, right? I really, really don't think so. They don't drop these spirals in just everywhere, and this scene absolutely has something to do with her selection. Everything about the scene was set up entirely by the ocean. This is a test to see whether or not this little girl is worthy of receiving the heart of Tafiti. And she passes, gets the heart, and then immediately loses it and forgets the whole thing ever happened. I thought it was a dream. Good choice, Ocean. Good choice. But so if the ocean chose her then, why when she finally makes the decision to go out to sea, not just help her right along? How come when her canoe gets flipped and she gets trapped underwater, it does nothing? The ocean seems a heck of a lot more like an enemy than a friend in that moment. And that's because this is the second test. The first was to determine her respect for life and selflessness, good qualities if your goal is to return life and might die in the process. The second one is to show her that she might die in the process. It is designed to really demonstrate the stakes here. This is like Moana's own little Kobayashi Maru. A trial you can't and aren't supposed to win. She needs to know what lies ahead of her, whether or not she has the ocean on her side. Like it's going to be dangerous and you need to be prepared to face those challenges. You must decide that despite failing the trial, you are still determined to go. This is where Moana succeeds and her father failed. And not just her father, but everyone else. If you notice when her father goes out to sea, there are no markings on the sail. So this must be before he has learned about all the boats in the cave. And speaking of the boats in the cave, when we see the flashback to all of them in action, there is one notably missing, and that is Moana's spiral canoe. And yet there it is in the cave, meaning someone, since they are locked away in a cave, must have painted it on there. And I have a feeling the reason they chose that particular symbol is because they were also a chosen one. But obviously, since Moana is chosen, the heart was never restored, so at some point they must have given up too. The reason I love this theory so much is because it makes Moana's story that much more powerful. Not only does she overcome all of the obstacles along the way, but if you zoom back into history, she is the first person to overcome all of the necessary obstacles just to face the other obstacles. And to answer your question, why does the ocean even have to choose anyone at all? It can clearly transport the heart easily on its own. Well, Maui basically clears that up in one line. The ocean doesn't help you, you help yourself. My interpretation is that it's not the ocean's responsibility to restore the heart, and maybe it doesn't even know how. But Maui stole the heart for people, so people have to return the heart. And there you go. That is why we believe the ocean chose Moana. Guys, for my question of the day, what do you think? Do you think that others were chosen before Moana to attempt to restore the heart. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the towel section down below. Guys, also we now have merch available over at DFTBA.com. Be sure to go check it out. There's some really neat stuff. And if you do happen to get anything, be sure to send a picture to us on Twitter or Instagram and we can feature you right here. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to see some more Moana action from us, you can click right here to have Kakamora explained or right here to find out Tamatoa's true identity. But Jay, that is everything that I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.